song tutorial for Cardigan by Taylor Swift. So the song is absolutely beautiful. We've got free sheet music for you that includes the chords. So if you don't like reading notes, you don't have to. Uh, we also have the notation so you can rely on that if you'd like to do that. And in this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to play the basic chord shapes and then how to play the accompaniment for the song so that you can play just like it is in the original recording. All right, so let's dive in. There are four main chords that we're going to be working with here. So if you're a beginner at the piano, you can actually get away with just making these simple chord shapes and you can get through the song. So the first one is an F minor. So you need an F, an A flat, and a C. That's our F minor. You need a B flat, which is B, D, and F. You also need an A flat, which is A flat, C, and E flat. And then we get an E flat, which is E flat, G, and B flat. So those are the main chords, and then once we get a little further into the song, a C minor sneaks in there, which is C, E flat, and G. So if you can play those chords, you can get through the whole song. You can play a chord like this, sing along. Vintage T, brand new phone, high heels on, etc. But if you want to play it just like Taylor Swift, then there are a couple extra things that you should learn. So let's dive into those. The song begins like this. So we have this sort of da 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 um, theme that repeats over and over throughout the entire song. So it's a good idea to get that under the fingers right away. So take your right hand thumb and place it on C and your five finger on G. Now I want to point out every time we play a B, an E or an A, they're considered flats in this key signature. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind, but I'll tell you the notes to play so you don't have to worry about it too much. So we're gonna play these two notes together, walk down to F with our four, E flat with our three, and then we're gonna go back to the F with our four. And it happens rather quickly like this. So just spend some time getting used to that. And if this C, like if it's too hard to press both of these down together, you could just play the top line Do -do -do -do, to simplify it a little bit. Do -do -do -do. Now the left hand part of the song is actually really simple once you have those chord shapes sorted out because all you're doing is you're playing the root note. So when you see an F minor, you play an F in the bass with your five and then the chord moves up and repeats like this. So this is actually an inverted F minor chord. We're playing C, F, and A flat. So we play the bottom note, one, two, three, four. And then we go to B flat, so B flat, and then we're gonna play D, F, and B flat. And then we go to A flat, so A flat, and again, we're using inversions as we move through this pattern. So C, E flat, and A flat and then back to B flat, B flat, with the D, F, and B flat. So maybe spend some time getting comfortable there, um, moving through those shapes, because inversions can take a little bit of practice. But once you have this, you've basically got the song. And then you can add in the right hand. So it starts before the left. So you're gonna go do, 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 and then when you land on the F with the right hand, you're gonna play the F with the left hand. Three, and then you do it again. And it's got like of a bit, it's got a bit of a swing. So that kind of means do, 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 instead of do, 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 it just has like a little more of a, I don't know, swing feel to it, which if you listen to the song, you'll hear and you'll be able to replicate more easily. So putting that all together, do, 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 do. It sounds so cheerful <laughs> out of context. But it is uh, kind of a dark song, actually. Do, do, do. Now here's a change. So A flat, F, E flat, and C. Do, do, and they're a little slower than the other notes. So we're gonna go A flat, F. Do, 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 three, four, do, 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 two, three, four. And if you wanted a little bit of help counting that, because these can feel a little weird to place. They come at the end of the measure. So if you think, uh, let's go for measure four. So that's that B flat. One, two, three, four, and uh, you could 
kind of count it out like that if you wanted to. Just, it's after the four. It's in the space between the four and the one of the next measure. So if you can fit it in there, you're gonna be okay. And great news, that's basically the whole song. There are a few little changes here and there. So you've got the verses, you can play that and sing along. Um, and when we come to the end of that bit, we've got this A flat. Do, 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 so that's measure seven. Do, 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 do. Here's the change. So. This is the chorus. We've got E flat and a G in the right hand. We're on measure nine. So the E flat is E flat, then B flat, E flat, and G. So get comfortable with that shape. Notice I'm using the two finger on the E flat. Just helps with um, proper fingering and it's gonna feel better under your hand than this shape. So there it is. One, two, three, four. We'll play with the G. Done this B flat shape already. A flat. And again, this is all familiar territory. Here's a change. We have an F minor. So it's gonna sound a little crunchy, maybe, but don't worry about it. You're gonna play an F with a C, F, and an A flat while you hold this G. And you've got four beats here, so. And when I fell like Walk you through that. It sounded a little bit fancy. Just take a moment and celebrate your success so far because after this last little chunk, you've, you've got the song. Okay, so at the end of that chorus, we've got a B flat here. So B flat, right? Nothing tricky going on there. But this right hand is going from F to E flat, D, C, B flat. And then there's a trill from B flat to C. And then it goes back to the B flat. Now I tend to just instinctually add do, 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 a G in there, because I like how it sounds. So you could do that as well. But the main thing is to kind of hear it. Do, 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 do. And you can do it. And if you don't want to do that fancy bit, you could just hold the F while you play this. So you can simplify. Probably no one will really even notice, but it's a kind of a fun line to play. So the other thing to keep in mind is your hands are going to overlap a bit because um, of where the left hand is. Do, 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 do. So I kind of move this guy out of the way as I go. So kind of play around with it to find what feels best for you. I find that that line <laughs> changes a little bit each time I play it, and that's okay. So there you have the verse, the chorus. And all the little bits in between. Let's take a quick look at the instrumental section of the song and then you'll have all the pieces you need to play cardigan. Just before we get to that instrumental, let's take a quick look at the chorus prior because there's a C minor in there that I told you about and I don't want you to be surprised. And there's actually a really pretty thing that happens in the right hand too, which we should absolutely look at. So measure 25, we're singing about cardigans. We've got an A flat chord here. So A flat with a C, E flat and A flat. And then we're gonna go G, E flat, C. So like this. And when I felt like I was a what? So we're walking up this time instead. C, E flat, F, and G. So when we've come off of that A flat, C minor. So left hand plays a C and then a full C minor chord. Or you can just play the top two notes, whatever feels best. And then we're gonna walk up again. Do, do, we're on E flat now, E flat in the left, G in the right, E flat to C. So this is that inverted E flat shape again. We've got B flat, E flat, and G. Then walking down, doo -doo -doo, we're landing on A flat, the C in the right, and then we land on the instrumental. So we're gonna walk back up. Doo -doo -doo, we're on A flat here to C. Again, we walk up. There's our C minor. chorus out or the, and I maybe could even call it a bridge, the melody changes to kissing cars and downtown bars. That changes, but 
the actual chord structure doesn't. So what you've been doing already can continue to happen. You can use the chord names as cues. And as you've gone through this, you can kind of look in reference what's happening in the sheet music, even if you don't read notes, you'll be able to tell if things are going up or if they're going down. So it'll help you to kind of keep track of what to be playing in this right hand as you go. So it's really, really helpful that way. So the ending of the song, the outro, is when she's singing, you'll come back to me. Uh, it's pretty much business as usual with a little bit of a change. So if we come off of measure 52, we're gonna be on a B flat. It'll sound like this. Then we move to an F minor and we're gonna go F, C, E flat, and then F. So with the left hand, this F minor shape from earlier. And then we're walking up. That's kind of new. G to D with a B flat on the left. Now here's that little fun little that we did earlier. Um, so you'll have practice that already and that's the whole song. It ends um, on an A flat, so it just kind of hold a fifth here. We're gonna go C. Same as before, but instead of moving down to the B flat, it ends on the C. And that, that's it. It's very, once you have the structures, it's very repetitive. So that's all of the learning, that's the walkthrough. I'm gonna play each of those sections without talking so that you can kind of see and hear and follow along, watch my hands so you can learn with me. Um, and then you'll be ready to go learn and play cardigan. So here's the verse. Here's the chorus. Here's the instrumental. And here is the outro. in order to be able to learn and play cardigan. And we have an extra very special bonus treat for you. We recorded this song in a full track, so all the instrumentation, and we've taken out the piano. So you get to download that and practice along as Taylor Swift playing the piano. We also have a version where we didn't record the vocal, so you get to be Taylor Swift both singing and playing. So I would absolutely love to hear what you come up with. So please record yourself, share it online, tag Piano to officials so that we can see what you do and have so much fun. Vintage tea, brand new phone, high heels on, Cobblestones When you are young They assume you know nothing Sequence 
smile black lipstick sensual politics when you are young they assume you know nothing but I knew you dancing in your Levi's drunk under a street light I, I knew you handing down my sweatshirt baby kiss it better I and when I felt like I was Two girls lose the one When you are young they assume you know nothing but I knew you playing hide and seek and giving me a weekend's I, I knew you, your heart beat on the high line Once in twenty lifetimes I, And when I felt like I wasn't I knew